ladies and gentlemen, and today we're in a very, very interesting car coming out of Cadillac. This is the new CT4 V Blackwing. Now, there are two Blackwings. There is one with the V6 twin turbo, and there's another one with an incredibly ferocious supercharged V8. And before you think, well, David, why are you doing the V6 one? Well, honestly, I think it's a really good comparison because the ATS-V was a very interesting experiment by Cadillac to try something different and also have some decent handling. But the CT4V, I have to say, I had my doubts on Fun Factor, to be honest with you. Mostly because you have that giant V8 kind of staring down, right? Going, oh, uh, why would I get this one when I could get this one, right? As of right now, I just got off the racetrack in this thing and holy moly does this thing handle and feel like it's way smaller than it is. Now let's talk about what makes this so nimble. We also have Magnarite suspension. Also you might notice something. I have a third pedal and not only that, I just flat foot shifted and flat foot shifting is actually a built-in feature to this car. So you can just floor it, get all the way to the top of the rev range, and just hit the clutch and bang gears. It's amazing. Now another thing about the CT4 I'm going to bring up really quickly is the grill. Now the grill you'll notice it's not black, it's actually this really pretty gunmetal color. And what's really neat about it is that these little chevrons, they call it the shape of the grill, instead of like a honeycomb you'd find on a lot of other brands, this shape actually brings in more airflow. And what's great is, is it looks better and it's painted a better color because the chromo is always like, it's still got that old man Cadillac, you know what I mean? Side note, if you guys are confused during this video why my interior is white while driving and a black interior with this beautiful electric blue CT4, it's because on press days, it's very hard to have the same car for glamour shots or stills and the one you're driving. But I begged and begged and begged for glamour shots of the electric blue and here on that dude in blue, we got lucky. Also, I absolutely adore the headlight design. I love how it has this sweeping motion and this angry face, along with the grill I talked about. Now with the manual transmission, believe it or not, even with the manual, you still do zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds, which is pretty incredible. And honestly, when I drove it on track, that's what I was really impressed with the flat foot shifting because I was doing it on the main straight and I was chirping second and third gear. Because usually with flat foot shifting, it's an aftermarket feature, right? Usually people use a standalone ECU or they tune it into the car to say, hey, it's okay to do this. Because if you think about it, it is everything you were told not to do when you learned how to drive manual was to have your foot on the gas. So that's what makes it really interesting. It makes flat foot shifting accessible. And that is something really neat. Now, right now we're in V mode. V mode is when everything is at its finest hour, I guess you could say. Basically the best overall settings when it comes to driving on track, performance, etc. But what's really neat about it is that with this car, you can actually go in like Forza Motorsport and tune everything with a slide bar. You can say how much steering input you want, how much braking force do you want, because it is brake by wire. Now I have said in the past, I'm not a huge fan of brake by wire, but in the Blackwing, they figured it out. Now this interior probably isn't for everybody. I personally think it's pretty cool, but I'm a klutz and would probably spill something on this white interior. <laughs> my Red Bull did not spill. <laughs> but at the same time, this is a full carbon seat. Like, full carbon on the back. Looks amazing. Let's talk about the engine. It's a 3.6 liter V6 twin turbo. Now you're probably thinking, oh, it probably makes like 
300 something horsepower. This motor makes 472 horsepower with 445 foot pounds of torque. That is V8 territory, and don't get me wrong, there are six cylinders that make that kind of power, but the way that the Blackwing puts it down is incredibly deceiving. Flat foot, ready? Three, two, one. Yes. Woo! <laughs> This thing sounds sick, dude. I don't care what anybody says. Dude, flat footing is so satisfying. I would get in so much trouble. <laughs> Having no lift shift built into a car should be standard because it would make way more people go back to manual transmissions. And go. Freaking so awesome. The track driving in particular really blew my mind because when you drive it on the road, you're gonna say, yeah, it's a really nice car, handles really well. But when you're on track, there were some corners or more sweepers that I was going full throttle with steering input. And it had so much grip that I got faster and faster and faster around the track every time. Well, track driving beats you up. Depending on the person, it can either make or break you and make you go, I love track driving, or man, track driving is tiring because you're focused so hard on the task at hand. I could have hot lapped this car all day long. Like, it's one of those cars that I wasn't uncomfortable, I wasn't like stressed out going around track. I was like, this is just fun. In the 10-speed auto versus the manual, it's a completely different driving experience, like 100%. You know some cars, you're like, oh, you know, auto versus manual, it's whatever. These are completely different. The gearing in the manual is a TR6060. So it's something you'd find in a whole bunch of other cars, but it's very long gearing for transmission gearing. So you can really use second, third, fourth to your full advantage because it's long gearing. So you can just stay in it and it's awesome. Another thing I wanna mention is the screen on the dash is angled down. Now, why would a car company do that? I will tell you why. In some other cars I have reviewed, specifically say the new Toyota Supra, the screen is on the top of the dash and it's perfectly horizontal, like parallel basically. And so you get horrendous sun glares on it and at the same time, it's just kind of hard to kind of look over at. There's no angle towards the driver. Now this isn't angled towards the driver, it's angled more with the dash. It's more flush with the dash and it just works. You reach for it and it just feels great. Your finger goes down like you're on your phone basically, instead of going up here awkwardly. The wing in the back does about 170 pounds of downforce. They say 169, let's round up, 170. Now, that's incredible just for that little ducktail in the back. Every piece of aero on this car that's aesthetically pleasing is also functional. Now, there's also underneath the car an under wing, basically. So if you look under the car, you'll see basically a diffuser, but on the front of the car. So it's really interesting how they were able to push that air and angle it away and give the car even more downforce and more airflow and more aerodynamics. And this thing, <laughs> once you get it into top of third, top of fourth, you're cooking in this thing. It's an upgraded version of the old V6 from the ATS. It sounds better, it pulls better, it doesn't have any kind of turbo lag really. us some really cool colors. They have a much better color palette for the black wings. And when I think of CTSV, I think of a black car or a gray car. I rarely think of bright blues, bright reds, bright orange. It just shows that Cadillac is classy, but they know how to have fun too. This is the most satisfying modern manual experience I've had in ages. When I say modern, I mean brand new car. Oh yeah, red seat belts, that's a nice touch. If they're coming in manual and nobody buys them right now, 
they will be collector cars. That's how good this car is. And on that note, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays, and I will see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Super proud to announce my first ever merch collection over at tdibmerch.com with designs I'm super proud of. So for my first ever collection, make sure to head over to tdibmerch.com and consider supporting the channel. And thanks so much for the support.